In this video we're going to add or subtract mixed numbers uh, with no uh, borrowing what's called and we'll, we'll see some uh, subtracted with what's called borrowing in, in the next uh, lesson. So in any case in this one here's our page one examples, page two examples, page three and then finally page four. Okay. So we'll start on page one and in all of these examples you notice that the denominators of the fractions are the same okay so just a little um, just to get us into the swing of things um, if I was to if you just want to write down this example and then just we'll, we'll write this down so 3 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 3 fifths well let's see 3 and 4 we can just add those together 7 right now we can just add the fractions 2 fifths and 5 fifths and, and 3 fifths is how many fifths See if the denominators are the same, right? We can just add the tops, right? Now throughout these examples we're always going to put them underneath each other because that is the easiest way to add or subtract these uh, mixed numbers, okay? So two fifths and three fifths is five fifths. So I have seven and five fifths. But hold on a second, what is five fifths? Five fifths is one or five divided by five is one. So and, and of course this is in fact seven. This is seven plus five fifths is what it is. So what I have is seven plus one, which is eight. That makes sense, right? Seven and five fifths is eight. Right. Okay. So by all means, you know, try and do this one yourself. We got four and eight sevenths plus one and four sevenths. What would that make? Well, the four and one is five, right? Now, eight sevens and four sevens. How many sevens is that? Eight and four is twelve, isn't it? So is that twelve sevens? Okay, so I've got five and twelve sevens. Now the twelve sevens becomes what? We can turn that into a mixed number. Seven into twelve goes once remainder five, so one and five sevens. We still have this other five here, the five, so it's five plus that. Because there's, there's a there's a extra, there could be a plus sign between these, right? Five and twelve sevens is just is five plus twelve sevens. So it's five plus this. So what's five plus one and five sevens? Any idea? Isn't it just six and five sevens? Right? Yep, six and five sevens. That was eight, that was it. Okay, <coughs> how about this guy? 13 and 5 twelfths minus 4 and 1 twelfth. Well, let's see. 13 minus 4 is 9. 5 twelfths minus 1 twelfth is 4 twelfths. Okay? Now, do you think that's the final answer or is there something else we need to do? Well, what about the 4 twelfths? Could you put that in lowest terms? Right? So 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes 3 times, so this guy becomes 1 over 3, so that's 9 and 1 third, right? How about this? 2 thirds, 2 and a third, minus 1 and a third. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 third minus 1 third is what? Well, just for fun, 0 thirds. Okay, so it's one plus zero thirds, or one plus zero, right? It's one, isn't it? Has to be one, right? Okay, so let's have a look at page two. We've got these examples here. Two and one tenth plus four and three fifths. Okay, let's just start with the number. Two and four is six. Okay, that was easy. Now, let's deal with a one-tenth plus three-fifths. I've got a tenth, tenths and fifths. What do I need to do to add fractions? Don't we need to have the bottoms the same? Get a lowest common denominator, right? So, I mean, multiples of five is five, ten, fifteen, and so on. So, ten is a multiple of five. So, what do I multiply this by to get turn it into ten, right? Well, 2, right? So I've got to times this guy by 2 over 2. 
So he becomes t 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 2 is 10. So instead of 3 fifths, he becomes 6 tenths. So I'm adding, right? So I'm going to take, that's just still 1 tenth. So I'm going to take my 1 tenth and I'm going to add 6 tenths, right? And that'll be 7 tenths, won't it? And I can just put that here, 7 tenths. Does that make sense? So the answer is 6 and 7 tenths, basically. I guess I should have written the fraction beside it. 6 and 7 tenths, right? So um, here we have 3 and 5 sixths minus 1 and 2 thirds. Now what? Do I need to make uh, the bottoms the same? I've got sixths and I've got thirds. If I think about multiples of three, three, six, nine, and so on, so I can turn this into a, into sixths, can't I? Three times what gives six? Three times three times two, right? And same at the top. So. Um, any, in any case, this becomes. Uh, any case, uh, sorry. I, I guess. Anyway, in any case, this becomes four sixths, and this is uh, five sixths. Okay. Now I'm subtracting. You see, so three minus one just gives me two, and five sixths minus the four sixths gives one sixth. So the answer is just two and one sixth. Okay. Does that make sense? So, um, see if you can press pause and get this one all by yourself. Press pause and do this one yourself. You've got twelfths and sixths, and you're adding. Okay. Okay. So now I'll do it. So, if I think about multiples of six, I've got six, twelve, eighteen, and so on. And so 12 is a multiple of 6. So I can turn this guy into twelfths by multiplying them by 2, right? So this guy becomes 2 twelfths. And here I've got, okay, 11 twelfths. Okay? Now I'm adding. So 9 plus 4, of course, is 13. 11 twelfths and 2 twelfths is, in fact, uh, 13 twelfths. Now, this is a uh, improper fraction. I've got to turn that into a mixed number and keep going with this, okay? So, turn this into a mixed number. 12 into 13 goes one time remainder 1. So, 1 and 1 twelfth. And I still have 13. You see, that didn't disappear. So, it's 13 plus th 13 twelfths is the same thing as thir 13 plus 1 and a twelfth. And of course, 13 and 1 is 14, so that's 14 and 1 twelfth, right? So it's just step by step, one step at a time, take your time, no rush, you'll, you'll get it. So page 3, um, th these denominators um, might require two steps to get a common denominator, okay? So um, let's start with 4 and 3 quarters plus 2 and a fifth. Okay, so um, five. We've got to make a common denominator here. So we can think about multiples of four. We got four, eight, twelve, uh, sixteen, twenty, and five goes into twenty, right? So the lowest common denominator would be. Uh, well, if we make the bottoms, or if we make the bottoms the same, we'd multiply this guy by a four and this guy by a five, and now the bottoms are the same, right? So, or it lowest common denominator would be 20, right? Whichever way you want to talk about it. Okay, so in any case, this fraction, 3 times 5, that becomes 15 twentieths. This fraction, uh, 4, this is 4 over 5 times 4, 20. So we've got 15 twentieths and 4 twentieths. And I'm adding. So I've got 4 and 2, okay, that's 6, so that's, that's all right. And instead of th the three quarters got turned into fifteen twentieths, the one fifth got turned into four twentieths. So fifteen twentieths and four twentieths is, of course, nineteen twentieths, right? And this is a proper fraction, and so we're done. So that's the answer, right? How about um, subtracting? 
7 and 2 thirds minus 4 and 1 eighth. And you could try and get the lowest common denominator, but you, you know, you need to list the multiples of, say, 3, so you get, uh, or 8, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so 8, uh, 16, 24. 3 doesn't go into 8, 3 doesn't go into 16, but 3 does go into 24. Or you could say, look, I just want to make the bottoms the same. So I've got to multiply this guy by something and this guy by something, right? So I'll multiply him by a 3 and him by an 8, right? Now the bottoms are the same. Or, you know, just multiply this by 3 over 3 and this guy by 8 over 8, right? So in any case, this top fraction becomes 2 times 8, 16, over 3 times 8, 24. 16 20 fourths. This one becomes uh, 3 20 fourths. And now I'm subtracting. So 7 minus 4 is 3. And 16 20 fourths minus 3 20 fourths. 16 minus 3 is 13, right? 13 20 fourths. And that can't be broken down, any, put put into lower terms than that, and so that's the final answer there. Um, so let's try this one: twelve and seven eighths minus three and five sixths. Okay. So you can think of multiples of eight if you like, I guess, um, or multiples of six. But multiples of eight, you've got eight, sixteen, twenty-four, right? 6 doesn't go into 8, 6 doesn't go into 16, but 6 does go into 24. So if I turn the bottoms into 24s, uh, that'll that'll work, okay? Or, you know, the, the, the easiest way to make both bottoms is to say, well, well, 6 times 4 is 24, right? So, we'll do that. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 4 is 20. And 8 times 3 is 24, right? So I've got to times this guy by 3 over 3. So 7 3's is 21. And 8 3's is 24. So I've got 21 20 fourths. And tw I'll say, and now I'm subtracting. So 12 minus 3 is 9. 21 20 fourths minus 20 20 fourths is 1 20 fourth. And that's the answer there, right? Okay, page uh, four. Now we've got three um, uh, mixed numbers. So I guess first of all, I mean, if I'm just adding these three, look, one and three is one and two is three and five is eight. So I mean, the number is okay. I got that part. Now I need to add the fractions. So I got three fractions to add, and I've got sixths, fourths, uh, quarters, and uh, halves. Okay, so let's see. If I think about multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, look, 6 goes into, or, or 4 goes into 12, isn't it? And 2 also goes into 12. But 4 doesn't go into 6. So lowest common denominator would be 12, right? So what, 6 times what gives 12? 6 times 2, right? And same at the top. And so we get 5 times 2, that's 10, over 6 times 2, 12, right? 10 twelves. And now 4 times what gives me 12? I want to get 12s, right? Four times three gives 12s. I must multiply top by three. So this three quarters becomes nine twelfths. And two times what gives 12, right? <coughs> two times six, right? Two times six is 12, one times six is six. And I'm adding. So 10 and 9, that's uh, 19. 19 and 6 is um, 25. So I've got 8 and 25 twelfths. Now hold on a second. That's not a proper fraction. I've got to turn that into a mixed number, okay? So 12 and the 25 goes how many times? 12 and the 25? Two times remainder, because look, two twelve is twenty four, isn't it? So remainder one, isn't it? Two and one uh, twenty. Uh, oh, sorry, whoops, one twelfth, two and a twelfth, right? But of course, I still have the eight. 
So 8 and 25 twelfths, or 8 plus 8 and 2 and uh, a twelfth, which gives me 10 and a one twelfth, right? Okay, this guy, I've got thirds, eighths, and quarters. So what's the lowest common denominator for these three fractions? Oh, first of all, let's just add the numbers. 3 and 2 is 5, isn't it? 5 and 5 is 10. Okay, let's do that part. <laughs> now we'll deal with the three fractions. <coughs> and I guess the biggest number here is 8. So if I look at multiples of 8, 8, uh, 16. Now 4 goes into 16, but 3 doesn't go into 16. So I'll do another one. 24. Okay, now 4 does go into 24. Uh, 8 goes into 24, of course, and 3 does go into 24. So there's our lowest common denominator, right? So we need 20 fourths. Right? So I've got to multiply all the bottoms by something to come up with 20 fourths. So, um, well, 8 times 3, of course, is 24. We know that. And so 1 times 3, so this becomes 3 20 fourths. And 3 times what gives 24? 3 times 8, right? So times this guy by 8 over 8, so that's 16 20 fourths. And 4 times 6 is 24, and also the top 6, right? 3 6 is 18. And add the 20 fourths, so I've got 16, and uh, 3 is 19, so 19, and 19, gotta add that to 18. Uh, so 9 and 8 is 7, carry the 1. 1 and 1 and 1, that's 3. So I've got 10 and 37 20 fourths, right? Adding all the 20 fourths. So this is an improper fraction. Got to write that as a mixed number. <laughs> 24 into 37 goes how many times? One time. And a remainder of what? You've got to go. 37 minus 24, 7 minus 4 is 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1 and 13 20 fourths. Of course, what, what do you do with the 10? That doesn't disappear, right? It's 10 plus that, right? So that's 11. 10, 1 is 11. 11 and 13 20 fourths. Okay?